The menopause really occurs because women are born with a finite, with a certain number of eggs to release every month in our ovaries. So in the pre-menopause from puberty, we're releasing a little egg every month and our estrogen levels fluctuate up and down as a consequence of this. The perimenopause is the start of the menopause transition and this is when we're really starting not to release eggs every month. It may be a little bit more hit and miss. The estrogen levels can also then fluctuate erratically um, and so this is why some months we may not have a period and then periods start again. And then at the menopause, at the time of the menopause, we run out of eggs to release and so periods stop estrogen levels drop and then they stay low forevermore after that. The perimenopause is really the start of the menopause transition. It's when our periods can become irregular, it's when the ovarian hormone estrogen levels can fluctuate more wildly and erratically and drop so instead of a nice up and down flow every month we might have a deeper dip. And this is when really menopause symptoms can start. They may creep up on you, they may come and go, so you may have hot flushes, and then they might settle down, and then they might come back again. Perimenopause generally starts in your mid 40s, although can be earlier, can be a little bit later, and generally lasts about five years, though again, there's a fluctuation in time intervals. The postmenopause is really defined as the rest of your life after your periods have stopped. So if we think that the menopause, the point of the menopause is 12 months from your last period, then from that point in time, the rest of your life is spent in the postmenopause where our estrogen levels are very low and stay very low.